Hey ladies, so um, coming to you with my third video out of my basic series. This video is to explain everything for those of you who may be getting started with doing acrylics. There are a lot of products out there and it can be very overwhelming. Um, once you're starting, you could always buy a kit, but you could always buy the cheaper one, especially if you're not too confident or maybe you don't know if this is for you, you wanna just try it out. Um, they do have the smaller kits that are available at Sally's. Yeah, so this video is just going to go over all of the basics that you will need to get started. If you want to do nails today, these are the products that I suggest you have on hand. These are personally, this is how I started off. Um, it's very, very easy. Um, and it really is not that many things to get started. So I'm going to go over the actual acrylic system first. I need retailers. We're going to need some monomer. This is, I use the professional acrylic liquid from DVDC. It's very inexpensive. Very uh, one of the few things, of course, that you know you're gonna need. You're also gonna need acrylic powder. Now, when starting, I do suggest getting a pink. Um, this is a copper pink, which I prefer over the regular pink nail bed pink, which is translucent, has a pink tint to it. I prefer copper pink. Here, so I suggest using a clear, a copper pink. I prefer getting a pink a cover pink, a white, and a clear. Now for the nail prep side, if you're using tips, you're gonna need to get a glue. Now you could get all sorts of different glues. I prefer the brush on gel. You could get the liquid, drops, you could get whatever you'd like. I personally prefer the Nail Bliss Pro, for, uh, the Wonder Bond from Nail Bliss Pro primer. Now I use IBD Natural Nail Primer and this thing, you can't really see because it's uh, in an amber jar, but I've used about half in five years. So it lasts a really long time. And I also have dehydrator, but this is a spray. You're also gonna need a dab and dish for your, um, for your monomer. I prefer one that has a lid. And this is because it'll keep the odor down while you're not working. It will also, um, it will also not evaporate as quickly as if you just left it open. So you need a dap and dish. You also need a brush. Now brushes come all shapes, sizes, colors, textures, prices especially, um, and shapes. So the one I prefer, I prefer using a larger one. If you are starting out, I would suggest maybe starting out with a 10 or smaller. So this is a 10. I believe this is a 16 or an 18. This is a 10. Now, as I was saying, I do suggest going with a 10 or smaller, um, Kalinsky if possible. Um, the better your brush is, the less you're going to have to replace it and it will end up saving you money in the long run. Like I said, the type of brush is up to you. I prefer a larger one because you're able to apply more acrylic um, than less and it takes less time. So you're going to need a brush. A couple of reusable implements. The first one, you don't necessarily need this, but it does make life lots easier. And this is a tip cutter. You're going to need some clippers, which will clip your natural nail. Um, you're also going to need some type of implement. Now, there's many different types of implements that you can use. They have disposable ones. They've got reusable ones that are plastic. I prefer the metal ones, but these are cuticle pushers and cleaners. I find these work very well. Um, they're semi-sharp, so you're able to get a lot of the dead cuticle that's on your nails um, off of the nail plate, which will cause lifting eventually. And this has a scraper. This part also has that little hook that will get underneath your nails. And this is a larger spoon cuticle pusher. So this is another thing I do suggest that you have. It makes life a lot easier and it keeps your nails clean around your cuticle area so you're not going to have any lifting and of course to make them look great. If you are using tips, you're going to need some tips. You could get them online. Now really the type of tip, color, shape, um, whether it's a full well, a half well, no well, um, really depends on you. And you're also going to need some files. Now, um, depending on if you're using them on yourself, on others, or um, on your trainer, or if you have a trainer, um, I normally get the disinf uh, disinfectable or the washable ones from Sally's. Now these will run about anywhere from 50 cents to 90 cents, or 99 cents I should say, depending on what type that you buy. I always get the 100 by 180. 
and there's different as you can see there's different types I prefer the square ones because I feel like I get more use out of them if you are using on multiple people and you you aren't disinfecting these obviously that's a big no-no they should be disposed of if they're not if they don't say washable or disinfectable these cannot be washed and you're gonna have to they're gonna be single use only but if you are using them you could also cut these into several pieces and that way you've got a smaller file and you can just throw it away when you're done you don't have to worry about disinfecting it or if you have the the single use ones you're able to get more use out of it other than just one time and throwing it away you're able to you know cut it into several pieces and get more uses um, for the natural nail I do suggest using the 180 or softer one that's suitable for natural nails and for acrylic so coarser and then kind of light um, and then also get a yellow block and this is going to buff any imperfections off of the acrylic nail. It's also great for buffing imperfection off your natural nail. It's very gentle um, and these are also disinfectable. So, But that is it. That is what you need to get today if you want to start doing acrylics today. Very simple. Um, hopefully this answered any of you guys' questions. Um, if you do have any questions, please let me know. You can follow me on my Facebook page. Um, you can also just message me here or comment down below. Um, there are a couple of things that make life easier, such as an e-file um, or even getting um, a UV dryer. And UV dryers are great because it'll provide a long-lasting shine, as you can see. Um, with little to no effort, all you have to do is file a shape and um, cure the nails with a UV top coat that's safe for acrylics um, for about two minutes. So that is also another thing that um, you guys could definitely look into. There are smaller things that make life easier, such as this brush gets rid of nail nail dust. Um, also, one other thing I forgot to mention is a nail brush to clean the nail off with. Um, it's not a brush, it's actually um, a manicure brush and it is has some, lots of bristles and you're able to use that under the sink. You're also going to need acetone or some type of remover. Um, it does help if you have to soak them off or to remove polish or what have you. Um, but yeah, that's that's about it. I think, um, I think I covered all the basic, basic, basic bases. One other thing, it's very suggested to get cuticle oil. And you can use any type of oil. Coconut oil works great. Even vegetable oil and or olive oil in some circumstances is okay. But um, I just get the cuticle oil. They have all different scents and consistencies and strengths so what have you different things but it does moisturize your cuticles once you are done with the acrylic process because it can dry it out especially uh, if the chemicals touch your skin um, such as acetone or the monomer which isn't suggested really anyway but you get what I'm saying um, once you wash your hands with soap and water and use a nail brush um, you are able to use cuticle oil and this is great to use all the time actually not even just after acrylic process but um yeah, that is it. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'd love to answer them. Um, so I hope you guys stick around. I uh, hope you appreciated this video. If you haven't done so already, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye, ladies.